again with another fishing session and this time I'm going for a night session with my girlfriend over there that's currently trying to sleep <laughs> uh, so we just arrived at the spot and I'm actually going to smash down on the same spot where I had the two big ones in the latest video um, I was back here this weekend uh, and had like a nice 30 kilo fish just a quick uh, quick afternoon session a couple of hours and went home again uh, this time I'm gonna I couldn't make it to the high tide so I'm here just after the high tide it was like 30 minutes ago um, and then we're gonna fish the lowest water and uh, oh shit I had some small cod snibbling on my bait I couldn't wait so I just shut down my jig immediately uh, starting with the same heli bandit as uh, I had good success on the last time and I got actually the 30 kilo this weekend on the same jig as well so it's gonna be really interesting I'm gonna shut on the GoPros now and uh, take you for a ride Achoo! all right so as you can tell it's uh, pretty nice conditions today not like last time when it was like full-on storm um, so you probably can hear what I say a little bit better today so maybe I can uh, quickly explain a little bit about the uh, yeah, how I jig fish or jig fishing in general in my opinion so basically when I'm just searching for fish and uh, not really know exactly where they are or I'm fishing an area like I do now where it's not too much fish but those that is here are normally normally big ones so I fish a little bit differently if I know I'm fishing a spot where it's a lot of fish but uh, in general in the beginning or when I don't know where they are I'm trying to search a lot which means I don't really stop with the jig at the same depth for a long time so I'm basically down to the bottom up a couple three meters make a stop sometimes more of course uh, but uh, just work the jigging step so I'm jigging a little bit for uh, on like two three meters over the bottom reeling up a little bit more make a quick stop up a little bit more I don't really spend too much time high up in the water so Basically, you can say that you're working actively a third of the water, the total water depth from the bottom and up. So if it's 30 meters, I'm working actively from 30 to 20 or... But yeah, the, high, the higher up you are with your bait, the higher, the bigger is the chance that a fish will see your bait. So uh, basically, you, if you want to cover a big area, uh, you want to fish higher up. Uh, of course, the fish can rise really, really far take your bait but um, normally oh freaking cops man but normally you don't want to spend too much time high up because they will see your bait but it doesn't mean that they actually gonna go up for it so some days they will come up really really far some days they just don't don't go up too much like if you have low moon face don't too much not too much current in the water they can breathe oh freaking cops man they can be pretty inactive and then they only will come up like a couple meters or something you know and then uh, i'm making uh, quicker steps with my jig and then uh, more often down to the bottom but when i want to get the attention of a fish i'm working my bait quite high up and then quickly down again quite high up and quickly down with a couple stops but then i spend most of my time like two to five meters over the bottom that's normally where you're gonna get the bites in general the rule of thumb is basically that you don't want to be with your bait at the same depth all the time yes boys uh, this uh, evening took a 360 degree turn or 180 actually i went to the first spot i thought i was gonna get a little bit of that high tide current over there but actually it was no current at all basically uh, nothing really happened i was Standing between two different types of spots to choose today. I really thought I made the wrong choice So we actually just drove down to that other spot like So that's where we are right now another big drive down to another spot, but Really nice super cool evening right now. The clock is uh, The clock is uh, soon 12 o'clock in the night the sun is out and I missed the halibut uh, the first drift Hold on, boys. Woo. I have a really nice fish under my bait now. 
Really, really nice one. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Good fish. Oh my god. Woo, pop the hook. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. oh, it was so, so, so careful. Oh, my wrist, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it was so sick. So here we go. So I was jigging right here, probably about five meters over the bottom. Came in a nice, nice mark on the bottom here. Uh, came out a little bit, came back in, or just missed him a little bit in the cone. So I had my bait a little bit behind the boat. And then it started coming up, just had him under my bait. I was just barely moving it and then I got him to bite when I did uh, I did some really like irritating movements with the jig like doo -doo 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 -doo, like this and then just stopped that's when he just came up to the jig here and he just super careful took the jig so I just felt the rod tip got a little bit heavy and then I set the set the hook on him freaking whacked him but uh yeah, I bet that looked quite cool on the camera though. That's probably quite a good one. Jeez. I feel it in my elbow. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Ooh, and look at the look at the clock. <laughs> yeah. That was the 12 o'clock bite. <laughs> we have like one hour to low tide. So yeah. First one I actually hooked this session, so we'll see. <laughs> that was quite fun though. Not a monster, but uh, yes, a good one. And also on the Halle Bandit curly tail, uh, cold fish color. Um, yeah. Enjoying the sun just in the horizon over there. Whew, maybe we can get a big dog. Woo. Yeah, boys yeah there we go fish on boys oh yeah happy days oh all right finally hooked up here the clock is now one o'clock in the night so just on the low tide here was just gonna basically make a last drift of the night to uh, yeah last drift and then uh, head back home basically and uh, I've been fishing uh, a lot like up on this flat area this is basically like a big bank it's basically like a big bank on like 20 to 35 meters and then you have a lot of deep water around and a really nice ledge so the the fish can basically be like anywhere on the flat area uh, that has some nice structure and then like the ledge through like around the whole freaking ledge is really really nice as well it can be pretty much anywhere so you can spend 24 hours on this spot and just hit it's hit like different stuff all the time it's really nice and i think it's like a okay fish not huge or anything but so lost a good one earlier uh was like really tough to get get him to bite like he was like really slow came up under the jig made the strike he went down and just popped the hook because 
probably just hooked him really shallow and uh, so I've been hammering after that this one came up and uh, I really like saw immediately that he was about to bite uh, but yeah a little bit of uh, aggressive moves with the jig did the trick oh my god but yeah as you saw they are not really not really taking them too deep though so uh, uh, that was unfortunate to not be able to show fish on camera <laughs> Uh, that's how it goes like yeah it's a it's a part about the jigging basically like if they're not really swallow I, I mean I gave him like a good time before I set the hook as well just because of that other other fish like hooking shallow probably not really going for it super hard or anything so this one I felt he took it and I just took like an extra breath before I set the hook and then whacked him this one I got to fight a while Anyway, I mean, I'm guessing like a 20, 25 kilo fish or something around there. I didn't see him, but they didn't feel too big. That's how it goes. Like if you hook them shallow, you have like, you have to put some pressure on these fish to bring them up. There's like, I mean, of course, yeah, I could back up a little bit, take it a little bit more easy. It would take a lot of time. Like it doesn't matter too much, you know? Uh, but if you hook them shallow, they're probably gonna come off anyhow. That's probably what I had to show for this time, so. Letting you go, I was just letting you know. I know the weather is cold, but you on your own. I ain't no regular Joe. You should've left me alone. I'm in the zone, I'm where the predators roam. We at the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne. This ain't no regular poem, this ain't that regular tone, no. Do you follow me, baby? Can you see what I have? Do you like what you see? Do I follow your path? I don't know if I like you. Alright, so that was it for this time. That's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you get him, sometimes you lose them. What? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes you lose the fish. You know, last time I was lucky enough to land two big ones. Today, lost the fish, so that's how it goes. Uh, yeah, the clock is now almost two o'clock at night. And uh, it's uh, so nice to, f to finally have that it's finally light outside again. I've been missing, missing the sun, missing the midnight sun and all that. So we'll see when uh, next session will be. Uh, gonna roll in a nice good old storm tomorrow. 20 meters per second winds and uh, a lot of rain, probably snow, I don't even, I don't even know. Um, yeah, the weather is crazy this year, absolutely mayhem. We had full winter yesterday, like 20, meet, 20 centimeters of snow outside and just mayhem today. Clear blue skies and sun, no wind, so yeah, we'll see. A little bit tired, so... Uh, Guess we're gonna go home and sleep now. Cheers, boys. You.